Clark, you're set to make another spring start tomorrow. What will you be focusing on the most when you take them around? Yeah, I think uh, for me, it's really just continuing to get the work in. Um, being able to go out there and build up the workload is, is a big deal right now. Uh, and doing that beat while being healthy is, is the big deal. So continuing to feel good and um, go out there, fill up the zone, throw some strikes, and, and then continue to do my job. There's a lot of talk surrounding this new pitch that you've adopted, your cutter. You threw it a lot in your previous start. Is that going to be the same plan as you try to fine-tune that pitch? Yeah, I think uh, just continuing to um, gain that comfortability with it and throwing it in any count I think is the big deal. So I, I would probably say that's why the usage is up a little bit right now. Um, but I've been very encouraged with you know the, the shape of it and also the execution of it. So um, I think it could be a high percentage pitch for me like tomorrow and throughout the rest of the season and, and you know as we go on. Um, you know, so it's, you know, I'm very encouraged by it and with the shape of it and, and the execution of it. So for me, it's just continuing to harp on that and get more comfortable with it. The narrative is that that pitch is designed to help you get some left handers out more, but what can it possibly do against right handers? Yeah, I think so for me, like a lot of, a lot of where I get my successes is, is sinking guys, um, especially right handers. I'll sink them inside, sink them away. Um, so for me, when you're showing that cutter, um, the difference in shape, I think, is big for the right handed hitters. When they're expecting the ball to sink and it stays straight or cuts a, a few inches, um, you're talking about a big difference on the barrel. So if you can get off the barrel and can induce weak contact by, by you know, um, not be falling into the same patterns, I think that that's going to be the big pitch for me. It's going to be your second time back out dealing with the pitch clock. What yeah. were your first impressions, and do you have to make any type of adjustment? Uh, for me, I think I, I like to naturally work quicker, so it's not going to be a major um, adjustment for me. I do think um, there are times when, you know, uh, I think I think it can be beneficial in both ways. When you're rolling and things are going really well, you can really put pressure on the hitter, um, and you can really keep things rolling. But I think if you know if you kind of start scrambling out there and, you, and you're, you're having long innings, long abs, um, there's times when you can get tired. So it's being able to continue to control your pace, control your breathing, um, and be able to be on the aggression vice you know the hitter be on you. No secret, you're in competition for a spot in the starting rotation, but what's the key to not think about competing for a roster spot, so to speak? Right, yeah, I think the big thing for me is just being able to control what I can control. I can't really, you know, whether my competition or, or other pitchers go out there and have success or um, but they don't throw well, I can't be caught up in what they're doing. You know, for me, it's, I gotta focus on what I got going on, uh, my routine, and I'm gonna go out there and just continue to compete every single time out there. And, um, you know, if it's, if I go out there and I win the starting job, if I don't win the starting job and I'm back in a similar role as I was last year, or whatever the case may be, I think just being able to go out there and, and, and control what I can control, what advice, you know, for my routine and, um, you know, the way I feel and stuff like that. So for me, it's just being able to be out there on the aggression um, and, and control my game. Clark, thanks for the time. Best of yes, luck sir. tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much.